Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today, I am back for the one month progress update for the Blockshot project. For those of you that are not aware, Blockshot is the Hightail FPS network. We are a collection of extremely talented developers, artists, model makers, musicians, and of course, YouTubers, that are putting together a server network that is all about shooting and gunplay and those kind of mechanics. Two weeks ago, we had our last update video, which of course was for the two week progress update. And since then, a lot has changed. I mentioned that we were going to update the website to something new, and we have. So the first iteration of the website was made in WordPress. It was very nice looking. It had all the features we wanted, but it was pretty generic and hard to work with. So adding features to the site was not gonna be easy because we'd have to work around WordPress. Since then, the team has decided that they were going to make their very own website from scratch using PHP, HTML, CSS, all that good stuff. And they approached me with the idea and I was like, that's a lot of work guys, but if you're up for it, I trust your judgment. And I'm glad I said that because, oh man, this site is beautiful. It is, <laughs> extremely snappy everything is very responsive and it just looks so nice and the theme is finally coming together we gave our logo a little bit of a change it now is a gun inside of a reticle and it is golden and shiny and it looks kind of like a medal or a button or a badge or something so that is the official logo we're gonna go with and of course i neglected to mention the music in the background is the block shot original soundtrack it's not some royalty free thing from a website it's not from another game we made this the awesome music people on the team made this some other updates that have happened in the block shot project in the past two weeks uh one of which is we changed the way staff works so before there was trial staff and official staff. Since then, we've upgraded it. So now there is trial staff, which of course is a very lenient uh, staff position. There's no obligations. You basically submit whatever you want. And if you make something impressive and you show your dedication to the project, you get upgraded to staff. Staff members also have not a lot of obligation, although they are expected to at least do a little bit more to stay on the staff position. They, uh, a lot of their stuff is taken more seriously and it could just be implemented straight into Blockshot. And then the third rank of staff is the council. So the way the council works is that each member is the lead in their respective department. So for example, our lead developer, it's Chaos. His job is to of course be a developer, but he also manages the staff team. So he is like uh, a manager, whereas I'm the project lead, but now he has uh, his own team to lead, which helps get a lot of the pressure off of me. It helps organize things a lot better, and it just makes the experience a lot easier for development and whatnot. We also have lead model maker, Aplexitai. I apologize for <laughs> mispronouncing your name, but oh man, have we seen some crazy stuff from him. Yeah, we reorganized the staff team, we have a new website up, and now time to get into the development type stuff. We now have a blog on our website, and the point of the blog is to show off things that we've made. So kind of like the job that this video has. In our first blog post, we introduce Blockshot to the general public, and we explain what we are and what we plan to do, things like that. And just yesterday, we uploaded our second blog post, and this is all about the soundtrack. Considering you guys are listening to the soundtrack right now, um, I don't think I need to go over that blog post, although you should read it because there's a lot of lore type stuff going on there. And every part of the soundtrack that I am showcasing so far is in that blog, and it's posted in the form of a YouTube video on the official Blockshot channel. We already have almost 400 subscribers on that channel and 2,000 views, and it's only been a day since all the videos were uploaded. The channel's growing really fast, and I predict it's going to get a lot of repeat viewings because the songs are so good that I feel like it's gonna be added to a lot of people's playlists, <laughs> including mine. It's already in my game development playlist. I have like this casual thing where I listen to music while I'm programming, and that's in there now. We have uh, four tracks so far. 
we have uh, Survived by Captain PS, we have two tracks from Slamma so far, Fallen and Lunar Shade, and then we have by Rotbjorn, Made Desperate Times. And what's great is that every single track has people that say it's their favorite. And what that tells me is that they're all really, really good for not just me, but for the general public. Because I know music is a very subjective thing, but the fact that everybody has their favorites is a really good sign. I love all of them. So one thing I'm going to leak in this video to help increase the hype is a post that is scheduled for next week. And that is the core gameplay mechanics post. So I'm going to link it in the description down below. Uh, it is a post talking about how the guns are going to work. As I said, it is a private post, so you can only get to it with the URL, but I will leak it for those of you that watch this video because it's really neat, and it will go live for everybody next Saturday, but you know, it is a really cool post. So it basically describes all the core gameplay mechanics for shooting. I wrote this whole thing up. Um, I actually wrote five blog posts in a row. Chaos wrote the original one. So I go over things like how damage works, how range works, accuracy. Accuracy was difficult because there's like literally 12 variables that affect how that works. Anyway, I'm not going to go too in depth in the video because that would take a half an hour. So next thing, I'm also going to show a few screenshots for the building process. So we have a team of artists and of course the model makers, and they are putting together some plans for the maps. So as you can see on the screen, we already have our head game artist, Alan, working on some block textures, and they look really nice. I'm extremely impressed. And that's one of the few things we can actually do preemptively. Not only the soundtrack, but we can also put together blocks, because if you look at the Hightail launch trailer, blocks are 32 by 32 pixels. So why not start designing them now, right? And as I said, there is some lore stuff in progress. I would say that's the weakest part of the staff team right now. We are extremely strong on the soundtrack team. Like, we're pumping out content like it's nobody's business. The art team is not too far behind with some amazing 3D gun models and some especially crazy textures and it all just comes together and it already looks like something that's going to be professional. And then you have the dev team with the website. Uh, it is a bit slower than the other parts of the team, but I think that's to be expected because development work is not easy. But of course, quality is number one. And there's a reason why we started this project so long before Hytale's release is because we want everything to be done right by the time launch comes around. Uh, so yeah, I'm still super duper impressed with the devs. Because the, uh, the quality for everything, of course, is through the roof. I can't say there's anything that's been officially released for Blockshot yet that's not good quality. It, there's like a screening process, right? Like, basically, everybody on the team needs to be super hyped about something before we even think about posting it. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, there's an official Twitter for Blockshot, as well as the YouTube. I already said that. Uh, but, yeah, if you follow us on Twitter and YouTube, it should help a lot. Uh, with getting this hype up our goal now is to just gain the attention of the people and i think the blog posts are going to achieve that perfectly as of recording this video the last part of the core gameplay mechanics post is actually going to have a placeholder in it because the video is not ready yet so by the time it officially goes public that will be there but for the moment um yeah there is a video that's promised of our lead model maker making an m4 in craft studio but for now it's not ready but it will be by the time the post goes live. To end off this video, I'm going to go over the staff positions that we still are looking for for Blockshot. So to start off, we are still looking for SFX, sound effect people. I would say we're good on the music front. We have an extremely talented team of musicians right now, and I am super impressed with every single one of them. I, <laughs> they'd blow me away with the quality, and I feel like they're just gonna drop some new track like, it literally, it just happens randomly. It's just like, oh, by the way, 30 virus, I just made this track. And it's like, what? You did that already? Like, they just, ah, this is great. It's like a, it's a genuine surprise every time they come out with something and it's amazing. We do have a much larger build team now, which I'm happy to say. Um, if you look in the background of the soundtrack posts on the YouTube channel, you will see some builds that were made by the team. For Minecraft especially, the builds look really good and they're super duper impressive. But yeah, we could always use more builders because I don't know if you guys know this, but in our apocalypse game mode, we are planning on making a map that's at least 10 kilometers in um, radius. 
So it is going to be huge. And we need as many builders as we can. Of course, we want skill though. Um, we have some applications that came in for like people that might as well be making like lobbies for main servers and stuff. And it is crazy looking. Uh, we're also always looking for Java developers. We do have a pretty strong web development team at the moment, consisting of our three uh, most active devs. But of course, the Java developers for the actual coding of the game itself will be useful because the actual mechanics of making a gun shoot and making the perks that do the math on like different things. We already have all the game mechanics mapped out. Like I, there are blog posts that talk about it but actually coding it is going to be a challenge and a half. So we're always looking for Java devs. To join the Blockshot team, all you gotta do is put together a Google Doc that would serve as a portfolio of previous works. A good application has proof of stuff you've already done. So lots and lots of screenshots. Feel free to make a 20 page long application if you have to with screenshots of things you've done. Like if you're a builder, I wanna see some spawns you've made or some builds. Uh, like really nice buildings or pixel art even if you've uh, designed some really cool pixel art in the past I'd want to see it. Uh, me and Antony handle those handle the applications If you're a SFX or sound effect artist make sure to have some mp3s in there And we're looking for voice actors for the cinematic series We've recently picked up a lot of dedicated people for the cinematic team They are going to be linked with the story team and that is Probably the weakest part of the staff team right now is the story elements. I'm going to get that fixed up soon. We have about four people that we got to get up to speed right now. And once we make our prologue, then from there we can go nuts with writing the story stuff. So that's going to be the main goal for the next two weeks is getting the website um, fixed up and finished. So we're going, we're actually working on the forum as I'm recording this video. So I'm hoping by the next update, which I think is going to be in a month. So... The blog posts are still going to come out every week, so I'd highly recommend you join the Discord channel and stop by the website every now and then to see if there's a blog post every Saturday. But yeah, uh, next month, I'm hoping that the website has a forum, it would have a wiki, a player statistics thing. We did have the player statistics thing, but it has to be remade now because there's a lot of stats so i'm hoping we have that done so basically the website finished and then we need to get the story prologue done and begin writing scripts for episodes of the cinematic series of course it would also be nice to have all of the blocks for at least one map <laughs> so the build team's having or the art and build team is having it easy <laughs> we want to have at least one map ready so that when the game when hightail comes out we can build the map right away and be able to test all of our guns out on it for the development purposes. We would have one map. But it'd also be good to have a bunch of maps. Because in that case, we'd be able to, you know, get to the point where we're done much quicker. And I guess one other thing is we're going to finish our branding. So I think it's safe to say we have an official icon now. It's that really shiny um, golden gun inside of a reticle. It looks extremely professional and... At first it was a little dark, but I actually added some uh, contrast and shadows to it, and it just looks incredible. So, yeah, I would say that's official. We still need a YouTube banner, and we need to nail down a format for the thumbnails on the YouTube channel. But once we do that, like once we get our uh, banners done, then I think we're officially done with branding. And then, I oh yeah, the last thing. We are going to need to find an attorney. So, yeah, someone to help with the legal stuff. But anyway, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and there's so much going on with the Blockshot Project. I'm hyped. I hope you guys are hyped, too. In a month, I hope to have some crazy stuff to show you. That being said, I do think I'm going to casually leak a few things that we do over the next month in other videos. So feel free to stop by any live streams and ask me about Blockshot. I might be able to give you guys a little bit of insider info. Who knows? Well, anyway, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.